When managing all of the music, movies, apps, and more in your iTunes, if you don't quite know what you're doing, it can bring nothing but a giant headache. But by following these 5 tips, you can make your iTunes experience a breeze iTunes updates can sometimes switch things up on you, and if you enjoy the sidebar for navigating through your library, don't worry, version 11 still has it. Simply click on view, then show sidebar, and voila, have your tabs for music, playlist, and more all on the side, and you can switch back all the same. And what's better than receiving iTunes cards as gifts? But hold up, don't sit and type every number and letter in when redeeming your card. If you select the use camera button, you can just hold your card up to the screen and it does all the work for you. Money added to your account in seconds. Use your camera on your Mac or even on your iOS device and save more time for shopping. When adding music into your library, it's always annoying when you find albums without artwork. But there's a fix for that. Simply right click the album, then click get album artwork. So whether you import music via CD or just found some loose ends, fixing it is a cinch. And even though there's all this great media in the iTunes store, not everything is suitable for all ages. That's where parental controls under the preferences tab comes in handy. Disable certain sections and even restrict media by ratings. Then by clicking the lock, your settings are safe and your worries are gone, just like that. And lastly, when listening to music on your computer, we all love to multitask. But by clicking the album artwork in the playing section, you can make it that much easier on yourself. A smaller version pops up where you can still toggle through songs, edit what's next, and more, all in the smaller frame. Sometimes you just don't want to deal with the giant iTunes application, and this quick tip makes it so you don't have to. Follow these tips and you'll be an iTunes master, and you can check out more awesome news and tips on ColtonMac.com. That was 5 tips to help you become an iTunes master. But what do you think about these tips? Have you heard them? Or what tips do you use? Let us know on Twitter or in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to make sure that you see more awesome videos like this posted 7 days a week. This has been Joshua Smith of ColtonMac.com.